Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Mikey Reacts where we react to some of the best content on the internet. And if you're here, it's because you maybe have probably seen episode one of the Broke Straight Boys reality show and you're like, I need more of this. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mike Reedsy and turn on your post notifications so you know every single time there is some goodness into your feed. This episode is called Viva Las Vegas with Broke Straight Boys and what happens in Vegas? Stays on YouTube, apparently. <laughs> wow, this is like this my new favorite show. It's an uncensored look into the personal lives of people who make porn. Viewer discretion is advised. Crazy party last night. A lot of people showed up. Jimmy, John. Crazy shit happened. Uh, this is crazy, some crazy shit happened. I'm doing some things. I'm still half buzzed um, from last night. A lot more happened than I... Maybe I'll talk about it later. I've seen some pretty wild shit. Woo! The fire performers were great. Like, seriously, they did their thing. I'm not fucking going to Vegas, guys. Thanks. Oh, thank God Caden is not going. At first he was like, I'm Caden, I'd do anything. I'm a broke straight boy. And then like two minutes later, he was like, I'm not into bondage. That's weird. That shit's fucking weird. You're not going to Vegas. But I can drink. All right, we're out of here. I'm going to get on. Oh, yeah, because the U.S. has the 21 to drink. In Canada, it's like 18 or 19, depending where you are. I love how the theme song is just people moaning. like they're girls. That's what I do. Yes, Jimmy John, First an icon we do not deserve. Realized. I'm totally straight. Every noise you make is fake. Every thrust you do is fake. It's sure, Jan. Cool. <laughs> If I wasn't getting paid, obviously I wouldn't film. The money's right. Sure, Jan. Every city has a gay area. Ah, Blue you know, Media is a bad. They call it Boys Town, you know, no telling what they call it. A Mangrove, I think, is one in, in St. Louis. Uh, we've probably been to all of them. The only one that we hadn't been to was the Fruit Loop. And that is the uh, home to the gay area mm. in Las Vegas. So Fun. Oh, Vegas. I didn't know Las Vegas has this like whole gay scene. I believe we did 18 events this year where Shannon and the models are traveling all over the country. We're meeting our customers. We're making sure that they're getting to meet our models. I do hope they get paid for just, um, this website. stuff too. We are real faces. Like, I wonder how that all works. I hope they're getting paid for the scenes and then also getting paid for their participation in the show. I can't wait to get there. Oh, ah. <laughs> This is what we're gonna do. Wow, they are staying at the D, Las Vegas. I have to, Siri, set a reminder to reach out to the media contact at the D, Las Vegas. Marketing photos, I do all the photo shoots. I would never ever thought in a million years that I'd be working for a gay porn company. Ever. Is there anything here you want to see while we're here? Um, I want to see a naked female. That's what someone who was gay pretending to be straight would say. Yeah. I am looking for a naked female. This guy. This guy. I'm just going with the flow. I'm, I'm here for the good time. <laughs> I have been to Vegas before, but only with my girlfriend. I haven't been able to indulge in the in the nightlife, so I'm excited. I love how many times these guys bring up their attraction towards women. Just in case you forgot, the last time I was here was with my girlfriend. And just to like be here in this is like I don't know. It's almost see, Jimmy John is the only one giving us true gay porn vibes. You know, like he gets what we want to see. The number one goal of Broke Stripe Boys is to make our fans feel important, make them feel like they're a part of the action. Getting to know the guys, getting to know what's there besides um, just the hot bodies. It's more than just the hot bodies. They've got personalities. We have some very special guests with us this evening. So we're not like a lot of the other uh, porn sites out there. We understand that behind every computer is a person that wants to meet the guys that are behind every camera. So I think the great thing about Broke Stray Boys is that we allow that to happen. Broke Stray Boys! Their job is to be on with the fans to connect. You know, a lot of times that they come to us, they haven't had any background training on, on how to work with the public. So we're teaching them more than oh. just 
little plug for my documentary, I actually just did a 15 minute sort of mini documentary on NSFW and like online porn culture. And I talked to a lot of different people who do it on their own, create their own porn content. And what a lot of them say is like the relationship they build with people on social media um, is really important for them earning money and having clients long term. Anyways, it all gets talked about the documentary. I'm gonna leave it linked in the description bar down below. I know a little bit about Vegas Pride. It's pretty typical of any Pride event. There's a parade, there's parties, there's after parties. I don't mind being in front of people and I'm gonna have all the guys there with me, so we'll all be dealing with it together. I mean, I feel like to do something like this, you probably have to be the kind of guy that, I mean, you enjoy people looking at you regardless if it's a gay guy or a street girl. You gotta support the gays. I don't think there's any secret that I, I work these guys hard. I, I work their butts off. Not really knowing what we're doing here and we're packing in like two weeks of work in three days. That's a little crazy. They work hard from early in the morning to late at night, but the guys that make it to the tour are the ones that I know can handle it. <laughs> Their job is to sell product. Good job, Jimmy That's John. Part of it. You know, we have a lot of product that we work with that they could take the guys home, you know, um, with the DVDs. You know, if you're standing there and meeting Denver Grant or Paul Cannon or Jimmy Johnson or Sergio, then that's overwhelming to some people. The thing is that they, they have to realize to the community, these guys are superstars. They're famous. With, uh, I mean, maybe with, at first. With great power comes great responsibility, and no one knows that more than the boys of Broke Straight Boys. You like the attention, and then it just gets super old. You get sick of people thinking they can just grab you, or that you're just some sort of sex fiend or something like that. It's not easy uh, being out there and staying up all night, a few nights in a row, and then uh, having to go to the Pride Festival the next day and try to put on a smile and, uh, you know, make people happy and take pictures with them and all that when you're hungover and tired. I know it's gonna be more work. I'll tell you this much, they probably start to get a better understanding for like their relationship with women and like how they can physically interact with the woman, what's okay, what is not okay, just from this experience, because I feel like for the first time they get treated like objects. Play but I think we'll have a great time. The most important part of their job is to make an every person feel welcome that they come into contact with. This is the biggest pride parade that they've had in the 30 years we've been doing this. All right, so the day celebration is over and now we're moving into the nightlife portion of the responsibilities while they're in Vegas. Gay boys looking, I want you guys to make- Like walking around the street, taking photos of the people, handing out Broke Straight Boys merch. Watch you on the way to the club. Once again, really hope they get paid and compensated for this work. Denver, while Jimmy and his best friend Sergio were walking next to us, I don't know, we just made complete fools of ourselves and danced and had a great time, which is what I'm great at doing. <laughs> of the pride parades, I've seen a lot of energy, and it was huge. A lot of people showed up. Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Fruit Loop. Nice to see people happy. Hi guys, wow, I'm glad you all kept it simple this year. Just simple. <laughs> you guys She's like, I put in all this effort, Absolutely. and y'all came in underwear. Right there, <laughs> Amazing. Right there, that was fun. Yes. That, that, was was awesome. Awesome. Yes. that was the best. That was in a great high five. We should, let's, let's get a replay on that one. You guys did a phenomenal job. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Right there. Okay, right. okay, that, that half that missed. Awesome. All right, cool. Straight guys, we gotta work on our uh, on our high fives. We're gonna do the same thing as last night. We're gonna uh, be be hyped up. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna give stuff away. We're gonna tell people about Broke Straight Boys. Mark, can you do me a favor? Can you call the taxis? We need two taxis. We're not taking a taxi. What? I ordered a huge limo. <gasps> yeah! What? You ordered a limo? Yes. We got Big a ass limo. limo. Okay. Now I have it all ranged. Awesome. It is on the company card tonight. Yes, boys. Yes, boys. All right, I guess we're gonna do Vegas, uh, Vegas style in a limo. So let's get ready. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Come on. Right. I honestly intended to troll this show, but I'm just straight up enjoying this. <laughs> like, I'm excited for them. The the guys have some I'm fun. I'm not even in so, Vegas. You know, I. Rented a limo. Toast to yeah. Mark. Yes, toast All to right. Mark. Toast to Mark. Toast to Mark and his money. Yay! Money, money. It is your yeah. 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 I will drink yeah. 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 And I think, like, that helped everyone. You know, especially Shannon, like, with 
with unwinding a bit. Oh, Tell me about your girlfriend. Oh my god. She looks like a she's model. Gorgeous. With she's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. Really? I haven't met her, but I've seen she's a like picture. Your girlfriend's parents, they just found out today. They just found out. <gasps> Why did you tell them? Or, oh, I didn't happened? tell them, it was her decision. Oh, wait, mate. Oh, she told them. She, she told show. them because of the show. Wow. I asked her to come out. So what happened? I'm not sure what happened exactly. Okay, this is the thing. This is the thing. I understand where he's coming from. He's like, the show's gonna come out. I want people to know. But when I posted episode one, all right, this show, I feel like the primary consumers of the show would be like gay and bisexual guys. And, you know, we have a very uh, culturally uh, aware audience, you know, with lots of LGBT in the audience. And the sample in the comment section were very confused. Most people said, I've never heard of the show. How didn't I know a show like this existed? I feel like you could have not told the parents and they wouldn't have found out. Because if my gays, if my gays didn't see it, I don't, I don't know how your straight girlfriend's Mormon parents are gonna see it. How do you um, feel about that? I don't know yet. Yeah. I'm trying to, you know, deal Oscar. with it. As Those a family dinners yeah. are going to be awkward. Do you think you would ever stop doing this because of what somebody else thinks? For her, yeah. Really? Would yeah, you would. If she up? asked you, not if they asked that you. Movie, if she asked really. me to stop doing it, I would. She Why? would only ask you to stop doing it if her parents ask you to stop doing it, and now her parents are going to ask you to stop doing no. it. No. And I told all my best friends, but all my best guy friends, my entire family. You know what? We're in Vegas. The rules tonight are we don't talk about the rules. Exactly. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Broke straight for us! Hello? Hello? Sabrina! I love the picture that you sent us earlier. Wait, what is this? Okay, so Caden and the other guy, I don't remember what his name is, so they are not in Vegas. I know, I know of them waiting in the drawing in the waiting room. Wait, so like these guys had to get their further testing done so they couldn't go to Vegas. <laughs> so these guys are in a limo drinking and they're coloring in a book in a doctor's office. Well. Wow. The winners and the losers have been divided. <laughs> They're so adorable. Honestly, okay, yeah. listen, listen, we baby. Go. We are at the club, so I have to get them ready to go. We are at the club. I, you and I, will talk to you soon. I can't okay. hear you. I have to go. Bye. Yeah, baby. Hey, hey we're here for the party, baby. Let's go. There we go. Are you ready to party? Are right. y'all ready to have fun tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely, I definitely have a crush on Jimmy John. Put it out there. Just being honest. <laughs> All right, so the guys are, I guess, the featured models at uh, this nightclub, Paranda, Parantha, pa Par Piranha, Piranha. That would that would make a lot more sense. So far, it looks fun. Just a fun little montage, having fun with the drag queen. Everyone's sober. This is before the binge drinking starts or after based on Paul's terrible twerking. Oh, All right, so we're moving on in the episode to uh, a shoot that they are doing. So this involves Jimmy John and I only remember Jimmy John's name, so Jimmy John and the other guy. That sucks and it's all romantic. This, that gives more options and uh... Do we look like the romantic it's, it's not that, it's not as good. Ooh, look at him throwing out those, those stylistic options. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even balance yourself. <laughs> it looks like a frog. Okay, well, how about this? How, let's do this. Let's this start off with a I guess you wouldn't think that when they're shooting a porn scene, like in a hotel room and whatnot, or like in a random house, like you have to block it. So kind of like in drama class, we figure out where everyone's going to sit and where you're going to stand up and where you're going to walk. It's like, you're going to screw him here and then you're going to raise your leg up there and then you're going to be upside down there. <laughs> And do our oral on the bed. Fortunately, I'm filming with somebody else that has done a lot of scenes like myself. Oh, so we, we have some resident experts in the building. And with a new person, that's when things are just like, oh God. Well, yeah, I guess it's awkward because if you're filming with someone who's new, it's like the first time they ever had sex with a guy. So that's like a lot of pressure. Whereas if you're filming with someone who knows what they're doing, is confident, 
but uh, I want you realize that it's just a job. You were really good. You're a good top. Boom. Which means, guess who's gonna bottom? I don't mind. It. It's a lot less work. It's not like I prefer it. I rather top any day, but uh, it's just so much easier. You don't have to do ne nearly as much work. Yeah, you're so not turned on at all. Uh, even you can take whatever you want, and it's a lot more work to keep it up. That's the hardest thing to do is keeping it up. You're pretty much ready. I honestly just thought straight guys would take Viagra to do gay porn videos and stuff. Right? That, that's what I have always thought. Take, uh, I think it's called Tibet Babo. It's like a, it's like a, some pill that's made in Asia, yeah. but it's not like a prescription oh, okay. or anything. I might start out over here talking to you. So I may go over here, but I'll eventually end up here. So the scene we're doing today will probably end up being like 40 minutes on the internet and uh, probably take like maybe an hour and a half, two hours to actually do it. Um, I like to get close up. I like to shoot like I'm watching it. I want to be there. Same, same. Oh, I don't want to smell it too. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. I wish I did like it because I could probably perform a lot better and do a lot of other, uh, what's the word, um, gay shit. But uh, I just Jimmy don't John. like it at all. I wish I did. You all got your BSB underwear. No. Okay. So you got your BSB underwear, and then we'll uh, just start our, start off with the oral. Who wants to do it first? Oh, I'm not sucking dick. <gasps> what? I'm not bottoming or sucking dick. That's all I know. So, because I never do that for. So, I mean, I did it like a few times. I suck dick for. A See, this happens money, every single time with Jimmy John. He's always like, I, I will never do it. If I gave you more money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, I want more money too. If you notice, we never talk about how much Funny. we actually make. We never do. It sits uh, one of those unspoken rules because this guy could be getting paid significantly less than you. And if he finds out you're making this much, now he's going to want that. And Ooh, that awkward moment when that's just a structure put in place so that employers can take advantage of employees because if they don't know how much each other are getting paid, no one ever talks about it. So it becomes a lot easier to underpay people. He may not be worth that. You know, you get paid what you're worth. We're providing a fantasy. There's no enjoyment in it. It's not glamorous, that's for sure. Just, All right, let's go. Come on, man. Let's go. Go. Any questions? Are you no, all good? I want you to leave me alone so we can get okay. this over with. All right, so go get cleaned up and we'll um, get this thing done. I'd just like right, to be right. done with it. I'd like to have porn and everything behind me. Like, it's just, it's not great to be you able know, especially if you want a relationship, takes away a lot of that stuff in life that really matters. Don't do porn if you're thinking about it, anybody that's watching this. Um, find something else to do. You don't need the money that bad. <laughs> um, well, I feel like if it's something like that you feel like you have to do because you need that amount of money, then I feel like you can get in a toxic relationship with your job. But I feel like if it's something you're passionate about and you like doing, did it, it's over with. I'll power to you. Make that money. Make that coin. As soon as the clothes come off, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over to this angle. And this is also really interesting because when I did my documentary, I chatted with people who do OnlyFans or just for fans, and what they like is that they own all their content, so they can take it down whenever they want. Whereas these guys are shooting a porn scene right now, and it will be on the internet assuming forever because it is the ownership of the producer. Hey Shannon, so I just got a phone call. Do you have a minute? So, um, we got the <gasps> test results. Drama. What happened? Shit. Now, go behind the scenes. This is what I'm saying. I'm getting like actually really invested in this show. Get paid. Hey Shannon, so I just got a phone call. The test results are in and everybody's fine except <gasps> Jimmy. His results were in. Jimmy John. So I know that you guys were planning on shooting something down there. Make sure that Jimmy won't be in the scene. This sucks. Okay. Um, Damn. Second episode, second scene that was disrupted. Because remember in the last episode, there was that guy that got kind of freaked out and then he left the scene. So, so we got a little bit of a problem. What's up? Uh, okay. So Sabrina called. Um, y'all did labs. But I guess it's so important that they do these labs for, okay. for their performers because so, of an example like this. They can't clear you guys. So okay. everything before a scene has to be cleared. Okay? I understand we're doing condom scenes, 
but mm -hmm. our company policy is we do testing whether it's condom or bareback. Yeah. So even though it's condom, it's important for you guys to be completely clear. That way we make sure we do the safest thing possible, okay? Right. I don't know what's going on. There, It could be a lot of different things. It could be that the vials, maybe they got somehow mixed, mislabeled. It could mean that they ran the wrong type of test. I mean, it sucks because I know that you all get money for your scenes. But you know what? We've got a lot of shit going on today. So yeah. we can go get on with the rest of the day. So does this mean that we don't get paid or what? What do you think? Um, they get paid once they do their scene. So none of these guys have been paid for what they've committed themselves to or being part of the show or whatever. They get paid after they like finish filming the scene. So they're pissed because if they have to wait for these test results to come back in, they can't do their scene. They can't get paid until that time. How about this? Like a, like a McDonald's dinner or something? Yes. Okay, do. What do you want? Oh, you want chicken? <laughs> you want chicken? You want chicken, John, you yeah, want chicken we'll and fries? With him. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna go fucking him, so I'm fine. How am I supposed to actually make some money if uh, I'm not filming their shit? We'll go back to Denver tomorrow. Um, they told me that they can get y'all in and get tested. Um, we get results back um, by around two or three the next day. Mm -hmm. So we should know. Uh, I'll at least get you, you know, a scene. I think I should get extra. Okay, so you want um, a drive through meal too? No, I want money. Don't worry. We're gonna get you a scene. Okay. We'll make it work. I right. promise you. Everyone's gonna leave happy. Okay. That sounds and good. Empty. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All okay. Right. So let's get going. We got a busy day. We're gonna have a good time. Let's uh... see the vibe that I'm getting, and I could be wrong with this, <clears throat> based on this guy's reaction, is that they're not getting paid to be part of the show. And this is just this is just my interpretation. I don't know if I'm right about this, but I, I think maybe they're not getting paid, or maybe they're getting paid a small amount to do the show and do all of this stuff for the show. So like the touring around, they're like you know they're in Las Vegas, they're performing in clubs. But what they're all really waiting for is to do their scene, so they get paid for their scene. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, After last night, I gotta see some ladies sooner or later. Here's your quarterly reminder that they're straight. Oh yeah, baby. Denver Grand. And you're a coin star? Something like that. The rest of the episode is, is literally just them getting lap dances. So I think my LGBT audience doesn't mind if we skip this one. All right, that is gonna be it for episode two of the Broke Straight Boys reality show. I am getting more and more and more invested into this show. Let me know if you guys are too. I'm just like loving the characters and like the story and everything. It's good. Let me know your thoughts so far in the series in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you are following me on Instagram at MikeReedSea and turn on your post notifications so you know every single time I upload a video. I will see you guys very soon for episode three. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. Most importantly, smile. Bye, guys. Okay. I'm just going to do... <clears throat>